Oh my gosh. Got him out of there big time. First round uh, stoppage by Diego Lopez. Man, we got a new star in the 145 pound division. On T Street Controversy with Fight View 360, uh, he might just be getting that $300,000 bonus. It's still early in the night, but it looks like it might be happening. Look at him talking to the big man. I'm T Street Controversy. Oh my God, sucks there. I'm T Street Controversy, <laughs> the robot, Fight View 360. Um, I'm on a PS5 on UFC 5, a TST Controversy. That's my. Uh, uh, PSN handle, but yeah, what a uh, what a entrance into the top fifteen of one hundred and forty five pounds. Um, man, I don't even know where to begin. So, Sadiq Yusuf stopped. Now uh, losing two fights straight. Let me see if I can get that short uppercut. Here it is. Boom! That's the first knockdown. Took him down. He looked like he was out right there. Obviously, I can't show you the whole replay because UFC they real nasty with the and another one. Another re that uppercut. So two uppercuts. The first one took him down. He barely survived that. And then the second one took him out. And then he got him on his stomach. And then that was it. That was it. But what a way to make an entrance into the top 15. Uh Sadiq was ranked where? I think it was number 13. Yep. Yeah? So now, do not be surprised. Well, he's going to definitely shoot up probably to like number 10. You think he'll get number 10 in the rankings? But I'm not ready to say he'll beat Taporia yet or Volk, even though Volk is looking a little rusty and Taporia is a smaller dude because Lopez is big. But, you know, Calvin Cater, maybe. Bryce Mitchell, maybe. Moving up hell. You know, Edson Barbosa, I even take that. I even take that, given that Barbosa is a big 145 pounder, too. Um, let's listen into the particulars. Take your time out, like the video, subscribe. Brought to you by the United States Marine Corps. Here's Bruce. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Smith has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 29 seconds of the very first round. Damn. Declaring the winner by TKO. Look, it's a big eye. Congratulations, sir. I'm here with the winner, Diego Lopez. Diego. You really put on a statement tonight, and you have emerged as one of the most dangerous contenders yeah. in this 145-pound division. To take away a guy, to put out a guy like Super Sadiq Yusuf that quickly, that's an impressive statement. Diego, você é um cara que você basicamente você chegou como uma das grandes atrações agora de 145. Fazer o que você fez com um cara como o Sadiq é impressionante. Cara, é, é algo incrível para mim, na verdade, que eu trabalhei muito forte para essa luta. Sabia que o Sodic é um cara duro, mas eu tenho os melhores treinadores do mundo. Eu acho que o resultado não podia ser diferente. Amen. I know that this was a very important fight for me. I knew that Sodic was a, a very tough fighter. I have the best coaches in the world, and I knew the result could not be any different. You came up to me at the end of the fight, and you said, I am going to be the next champion in this division. And that's the kind of performance you put on tonight. Take a look at it up on the big screen and enjoy some of your work, because this was absolutely spectacular. And to do this against such a skillful striker as Sadiq Yusuf just makes it even more impressive. This molding. Hablaste, dijiste que quieres ser el campeón de la división a él. Y ahora, viendo tu trabajo, hacer eso contra alguien como Sadiq Yusuf, impresionante, ¿no? Dale. Sí, yo voy a ser campeón de esa división, solo es cuestión de tiempo. Las cosas se están acomodando, se están acomodando como yo quiero. Ya sé cuál es mi siguiente paso y ahí esto voy a buscar. Voy a ser campeón un día. Listen, I'm going to be a champion of this division. Things are setting up the way I want. This was another one. I know my next step, and I'm going to be a champion another day. What type of a, an opponent would you like to face next? Do you have any names in mind? Easy. Movzai Loeb is the next. I mean, we Movzai Loeb International Fight Week. Come on to Spain, Ilya Tupuria. Come to Spain. Uh, most of them, most are. I want to be. Let's do it in Spain and Ilya Tapuria. I'll go to it. It ain't happening next. Good luck to you, sir. Congratulations. It ain't happening next. Ladies and gentlemen, Diego Lopez. Diego but yeah, Lopez he seems to be the uh, he seems to be the front runner for the night to get the uh, three hundred thousand dollar bonus that uh, Dana White announced. Let's see. So far, where are we at? Um, Figueredo uh, made a pretty easy night of uh, Cody. Bobby Green bloodied up Jimmy Miller. Andrade had a... This was the closest fight of the card so far. Um, an upset by uh, Ronaldo. But I guess a lot of people said it was going to be upset. So I guess it is. And then Diego Lopez just mopped the floor with Sadiq. And now Holly Holm versus Kayla Harrison is up next. The fight that I'm really looking forward to the most of the night. Like, man, the card is already stacked. And by the way, I got a gift. Uh-oh, there she is. 
you know, she's been having a uh, a rough time the last few years, but let's see. Maybe she can pull it together tonight against this somewhat drained, I want to say, Kayla Harrison. Not making any excuses, though. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.